I just moved to a new space and I'm still not quite settled in, so the audio is going to be terrible and my background is going to be all over the place. One of my most used plugins for Final Cut Pro is my Motion Tools Complete, or as I've just recently changed it over to, Motion Tools Ultimate. It comes with over 160 different tools and effects for Final Cut Pro published from Apple Motion. That said, there is a big problem with Motion Tools, and that is that there's just so many tools and effects packed in, it can be hard to know exactly how to use them. So I thought in this video, it'd be interesting to take a look at five different ways you can use Motion Tools Ultimate with the magnetic mask. In this first example, I've gone ahead and used the magnetic mask to cut out this guy walking on a beach, and I actually want him to be walking in the forest. But on top of that, I want him to have this kind of invisibility effect. With all my layers in place, let's go to the right side under motion tools and just look up the bump map effect. From there, I can click and drag this onto our forest scene. Next, we're gonna select the shot with our guy walking, right click and then select new compound clip. We can just call this whatever we want. I'll just call it invisibility and push OK. Selecting our pathway forest, we can go to the drop zone and selecting that we can select our guy walking here. From there, we can push apply and we can drag up the amount. Already, we can start to see the effect taking place. And if I push play, you can see how it's kind of warping the image. That said, we don't want to continue seeing our guy. Now there seems to be some sort of bug, at least here in Final Cut Pro 11, where if I disable the guy walking, it also makes the bump map image disappear. I haven't seen that before, but there is an easy fix. And that is that we are just going to drag our guy underneath the layer of the forest. So now he is displacing the forest and it's giving us a really interesting look. Finally, I'm gonna select that forest shot and go over here to the repeat edges. We're doing that because you'll notice that there was all these black edges appearing here in our image. But from there, we have now created this really awesome looking invisibility layer. Now using the bump map effect, we can come over here and adjust stuff like the pan and the scale if you need to offset where your person is in this shot. The next effect is a very simple one, but it's features that I really wish the magnetic mask had built in by default. And that is using the matte magic effect. Here's the shot I want to work with. I'm going to go ahead and add a magnetic mask. Now that our magnetic mask is done, we can see how it's cut out our runner. However, you'll notice that there's this slight blue tinge here on the edges, and I would love to clean that up. So let's come on down to motion tools and look up matte magic. I'm going to apply that onto our shot. And now you'll notice that we have options like shrink, feather, and erode. So if I just drag this up a little bit, we can start to clean up those edges in a really nice way. We could even increase the feather if we want to, and this is going to be similar to the feather that's on the magnetic mask, but we can also erode the image and that's just gonna give us a much cleaner edge. So this is great if you need to replace the background with a different image and you wanna really make those edges look clean. That way you're not introducing any weird artifacts. Another incredible way to use the Motion Tools plugin is to add outlines to your magnetic mask. I've already cut out our runner here like I showed previously, but I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that shot and the shot underneath is going to have no effects applied to it whatsoever. So everything is going to look natural to how it was originally. With this top layer selected, let's go on over here and look up the stroke effect under our motion tools. And we'll apply that onto the topmost layer. You'll immediately notice that we get this outline. And all we need to do is adjust stuff like the threshold. So now we're selecting more of the hair. We can adjust the offset. So if we want it to be outside of her a little bit. We can increase the width. We could even go in and change the color type. So now it's a gradient. You can add in some fade. So you can really make this outline look exactly as you need it for your video. And pushing play, you can see how this works so nicely with the magnetic mask. Another super powerful use case for the Motion Tools Ultimate Bundle is the Unsharp Mask. There's already a sharpening tool built into Final Cut Pro, but I found it's just super limited. So I've gone ahead and brought the Unsharp Mask over into Final Cut Pro, which gives you so much better control over your sharpening. Let's go ahead and just look up the Unsharp Mask over here on the right side and I'm going to click and drag it directly onto our subject. It looks like we're getting a little bit of this hand here in the background, so I'm gonna push Option and click right there, and that should reduce that selection. From there, we can push Analyze. Now that it's done analyzing, we can go ahead and push Done, and from here, we can increase stuff like the radius, so you can really see that sharpening taking place. We can drag up the amount, the threshold, all sorts of things to really fine tune the sharpening 
on our subject. This has already saved me in multiple instances where maybe my subject was slightly out of focus and I needed to just bring a little bit more sharpness to them but didn't want to manually mask it myself. And the last one is just a super fun effect. Maybe you want to make your background look like it's drawn on paper. Again, I have my runner cut out here from the original video and all we need to do is go and look up the line art effect. From there, I'm going to click and drag that onto the underlying layer, or you can double click it to apply, and we can start to see the effect taking place. We can adjust the threshold on this background, we could change the background color and the ink opacity, but if you wanted to take this a step further and make it look like the background's almost stop motion, all we would need to do is come on over here to the motion tools effect and look up the strobe effect. We'll apply that onto the underlying video, and we can change the frame rate of this with the strobe rate effect. So if I push play, we can see how now the background looks stop motion while our runner continues to look exactly as they were previously. If you don't already have motion tools, I do have a link down below as well as a special discount code for you for watching this video.